you guys today. Today is just a different day. We're doing a video about Wix. Yes, guys, we are doing a video about Wix. Not only Wix, we're gonna we're doing a video about fragrance, how to wick a jar. Um, you know, I'm answering a lot of questions. Like, like, listen, we I get a lot of questions in my inbox every day, and you guys ask me things like, "Oh God, I'm just so over it. I'm ready to quit. I don't know how to do this." Um, we're gonna talk about candle science. We're gonna talk about fragrances. I got a lot of fragrances in front of me, guys. Listen, as you can see from the back and all the way around my studio, I try different fragrance companies. So I just want to let you guys know what fragrances work for me because you guys ask me these same questions over and over. And I just want to use this video to answer them. But listen, if you are sitting down or you standing up, I just want to take five seconds and I just want you to just get out all your wish frustration. I know you hear it. Yes, yes. Listen, I hate wick so much right now. I hate wick so much right now. Ah! Okay, all right. So listen, <laughs> this special measuring tape is because you are supposed to go and take it and put it over the top of each and every vessel that you are going to use to determine your wick size yes you definitely need to know a lot of people get into candle making and they do not know what size wick to use and, and and to be honest with you when i first got into candle making i didn't even know that there was i just thought one wick was all wicks you just put it in the candle and burn it no your wick determ determines how hot your candle will burn and it also determines your fragrance throw. So that means if I have a weak wick, I'm not going to smell that fragrance on it. You might as well hang it up. And also, your wick is just very important. The type of wick that you use is important. The type of wick that you use for a certain specific wax is important. It's all important. Um... The fragrances are here because I just wanted to guys to, before I even go too deep in the video, I want to give you guys my recommended fragrance because that's another question y'all like, what, what fragrances to use? I'm trying to get this candle to smell like something and right now it smell like poop. So, I brought a couple fragrances that I, I myself personally love. My little, um, you know, top 10 or what, whatever. And um, also, I brought a couple jars with me because these are like the jars that we use a lot. I see a lot of people using these Dollar Tree square jars. You want to know how to wick them. A lot of people ask me about the salsa jars. You want to know how to wick those. And also, I have a humongous um, teacup. <laughs> This is another um, thing that we get out of Dollar Tree. And this is basically like a, um, you know, a double wicking situation. So, guys, let me go over this first with you and just break this down and let you know a little, se little secret. Whenever a vessel is this big, I usually say whenever it's over um, three, anything over three and a half inches should be double wicked. I want to say that one more time. Anything over three and a half inches should be double width. This jar right here is almost um, four inches. It's, it's, it's over three and a half. So this is almost four inches right here. So if I asked you, what's the diameter at the top of the, the vessel? You basically go ahead and you put this on here and you say, oh my God, this is... um. Oh my God, this thing is actually big. <laughs> this is over three and a half inches. So what you do is with this specific um, vessel right here, you want to use two Eco 8s. Two Eco 8s or you use two Eco 6s. Um, the reason why I say Eco 8 or Eco 6 because it all depends on your dye and it depends on um, your fragrance. Because sometimes when I add candle block dye to my candles, it's, it, it clogs my wick. And I had to put it out and put it back on and put it, and it just depends on how much I disperse to the candle. Not all candle wax dye do that, but I just I just had those problems or whatever. So if I told you to use an Eco 8, and you're like, well, I don't have Eco 8, I have a CD wick. Let me go ahead and help you. Right now, I'm about to be your personal wick guide. So Eco 8 goes from 2.75 to 3.0 inches. So I'm going to take that same 2.75 to 3.0 inches and I'm going to go to HTP if I'm using HTP. So I look at I look down at HTP and I'm like, oh my God, 2.75 to 3.0 inches is HTP 73. So I go and test HTP 73 and um, 
HTP 83 or HTP 62. I basically test all of those to see which one will suit my candle well. I want to stay within that frame. I don't want to drop down to HTP 12, 12 because I know it's going to burn crazy. So if I'm working with LX, I'm looking for the same results in LX. So basically we said uh, two point, um, what is it? 2.75 to 3.0. So now I'm going to LX and LX says basically 2.75. I mean, it says two and a half to 3.0. So I know that I'm going to start at like an LX 16. I may go to LX 18, LX 16, and I'm going to double width with that. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the number and you're transferring it over for the CD wick. It's the same. You know, you basically transfer that number over to another wick series and you stay within that, that bracket, that 2.75 to 3.0 and you just transfer it over. How easy was that? I'm telling you, listen, what I want you guys to do is I want you to stay away from candle science with God. And the reason why I tell you to stay away from that candle science with God is because candle science is only going to give you recommendations for what they sell. They do not sell every single wick under the sun. So they're not going to give you um, recommendations. Maybe it's, it's, it's uh, a zinc that you need for your wax. And that's, that's giving you a bomb hot throw. Or maybe it's, you know, maybe it's LA, like whatever they don't sell, they're not going to give you that recommendation. And that very wick that they don't sell may be the wick that really does your candles well. So Eco Wicks is a good wick to use. I recommend Eco Wicks inside of soy. I do not recommend Eco Wicks inside of 6006. I'm telling you, listen, when I started ordering wicks, I began to go and order the whole series. Like, um, this is a sampler set. They really don't sell sampler sets the way they used to. But when they were selling them, I would order a sampler set because it just saved you a lot of money and a lot of wick testing. I believe that a lot of the companies pull the sampler set because it's a lot of newbies coming onto the scene and they're going to make more money off of you. Just keep ordering bags of wicks. So you know what I did? I got smarter. Instead of me going, keep going back and paying all them shipping fees, I'm like, okay, so I I like the way LX burn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this LX and I'm gonna order I'm gonna order all the LX that I need. So then I will go to LX and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna start at um, LX12 because that's for you know violet and it's for pillars and small can uh, small container candles. Um, you know, so I would be like, all right, let me start at LX16. Um, or LX 14, and which is goes for pillars and small containers. So LX 14, all the way down to LX 26. I'm not going to, uh, LX 28 and I'm not going to LX 30 because I'm not going to use a vessel that big. That's not something that, and if I do use a, a vessel that big, I'm going to double wick it. And I'm going to tell you guys something about double wick. A lot of people don't want to use double, double wicks because they like, oh my God, this is two wicks. It's just, oh, it's just, oh, uh, you know, I just want to use one wick. Listen, if a container is over three and a half inches and you can double wick it, let me tell you why this is the best idea in the world. When when you double wick a vessel, that vessel, the aroma, the hot throw that comes from this vessel is vicious. I'm talking about you will smell no greater love. <laughs> Look, I'm going to the Bible with it. This is my um, flint jar. I'm just, I just use this to just pour like stuff in here. It's just so dirty, but it's just right here. So I, but this is my straight sided flint jar, 16 ounce Put straight sided flint, plain, plain. 12 ounce carries 12 ounces of wax. Now listen, if I had this jar and I was wicking it like I used to, I used to use two LX 16s in here. To LX16, depending on what I need, or I had to use LX18, but LX16 was my go-to in this straight-sided jar. Why? Because if you use one wick, this flame will be as tall as I am, and I'm about almost six feet. So you need to have a safe candle flame. If your flame is burning too hot or it's burning too tall, you are not ready to launch your candle business. You have to have a stable and safe flame. 
Another thing I've seen people inboxing me and I'm so, I, I get very upset about this guys. And I know a lot of you just starting your businesses or you just getting into the candle business, but do not free pour fragrance. Do not get a container and just, you know, let's say one ounce on that little, you know, the little measuring cups. Do not get a measuring cup because um, fragrance is not by, it, it's by, it's not by volume. It's by weight. So you have to go ahead and weigh your fragrance out. You will literally set somebody's house on fire by free pouring fragrance into a candle. And I had to tell people this all the time. I'm like, yo, do you want a house fire or do you want to listen? Because some people want to jump out there. They want to get into the candle business so bad, but they don't want to sit for the education. You have to be educated in all that you do in skincare and in bath and body. Like you have to to be educated so that's why y'all let me spend up all my money and waste all my money on all this wet wick fragrance and all this stuff just to know what i actually wanted and to teach you from my mistakes okay so now moving on down we have the next thing that i want to talk about and we want to talk about fragrances the first fragrance that i'm presenting to you is from virginia candle you guys, I brought this bottle maybe like last year, sometime last year. Why is it full? Tell me why. Can somebody guess why the bottle was still full when I brought it last year? Ah, it's, it, you know, only thing I can do with these kind of things like this is use it for bath and body. And I'm not here to trash or thrash a company, but guys, I want to let you know what works because I don't want you going out doing what I did. I spent so much money and came back empty handed. I'm like, guys, do y'all smell my candles? Nobody smell nothing. You know what that's tell me? I had this thing lit. You know? So I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't deal. I cannot do it. Um, another thing is um, candle science. Candle science, oh my God. Let me tell you guys about candle science. Candle science, I have up the utmost respect for the fragrance oil their fragrances are so oh my god they are so strong i love their fragrance oil but the only thing i don't like about candle science is the shipping prices all right so you could go ahead and argue i they can get they can have my order ready in an hour i don't care i'm not finna pay for that shipping anyway moving on up but i do like candle science don't get me wrong shout out to candle candle science um they black raspberry vanilla leather stinks so bad but i'm mixing it with some vanilla and that'll work i'm just gonna keep them bottles of leather this is um another one it smells really 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 good um and what's that hands on griddle whatever i love candle science they really have some good strong fragrances another one is wholesale supplies plus now i call um wholesale supplies plus the cat daddy of all fragrance companies this is my like this my pimp this my this my cat daddy right here like you know like if you putting this inside your candles you riding you know when we get in the car with cat daddy we just relax and we like look he about to take us somewhere he it's all you know one thing about this fragrance it's going to take you somewhere if you never got a hot throw before if you use this fragrance you're going to get a hot throw the next on my list is just scent just scent oh my god i love just scent this is in the stars type they have a lot of different types that smell so good but my favorite is cozy cabin guys if and they're a little on the high side but baby i'm gonna tell you something normal shipping prices um wholesale supplies plus is very expensive but you get what you pay for um it's well worth it aztec is another one no no saying aztec aztec is another one now i love i absolutely love aztec for my soap and i don't want to be grimy towards aztec because i love aztec as a company you know they never really gave me no problems or whatever but i do not particularly like to use now this may be my preference but your preference is different i do not like to use aztec in my candles because it does not give me a strong fragrance throw and you cannot come to me telling me oh you may be 
using them wrong or this may be no i i done wasted enough money to know if it ain't working out for me so i'm not even going to recommend that for no candles but i will recommend it for soap it's awesome in my soaps i love the way they have my soap smelling especially the gain the gain is awesome so guys and the cool waters oh my god so if you want to buy the gain and try that out in your candles oh my god it's very strong the cool waters um i love their abercrombie fierce that's a good one um so yeah flaming candle is another one flaming candle is another one this is called candy fluff from flaming candle it smells like a, a fourth of july bomb pop so if you the summertime is coming you want to get your red white and blue candles this is the perfect fragrance for you it's from flaming and it smells just like let me just smell it real quick because it has a mixture of like a lemon, a cherry. It's just, it's it's so bomb poppy. I love it. They should have named it bomb pop. Um, the last one that I want to recommend is Nature's Garden. Nature's Garden is really good. They have very strong fragrances. And again, Nature's Garden, sometimes, I mean, you know, some people complain about their shipping. But if you really, really want a strong hot throw a good smelling candle you need to be on these specific companies this is another one that i have found um they're pretty strong it's called tailored concepts they're pretty strong I, I, and i believe they're out of um dallas texas or whatever that's what's on the bottle and um i mean they, i think they were pretty cool too um anything behind me that i want to north star was pretty good north star north star was pretty good um fragrance buddy is good as well i do like fragrance buddy i do like north star i mean it says it on their bottle that they, that they have ultra strong scents um nature's garden lemon poppy seed is popping like it's, it says poppy it's, it's really popping um virginia candle I, I already showed you guys how i felt about virginia candle i mean it's good for my soap but i from my experiences you know no nah, not for my candles so guys, we're going to go on to something different. Now, we're going to talk about the different types of wicks. Okay, so this is Eco Wick. Guys, we all know what Eco Wicks is. Like I said before, Eco Wicks is very good for soy-based waxes. Um, I would not recommend Eco for 6006 because it gives off a suit. And also, it um, it burns kind of funny. Like, it, it, it's like a high flame, and I did not like that too much. Everybody's experience is different, but I've talked to, I mean, dozens of people, and they all had the same experience experience with eco and that parasoid so you just want to make sure that you remember that um 6006 is 70 percent paraffin and because of 70 percent paraffin we just pretty much treat it like paraffin and, and eco is not recommended for paraffin wax so eco is good for soy it gives off an amazing hot throw i love it for soy it was it was definitely good when i was using it the next wicks i want to talk about is cd cd is awesome for um cd burns really hot so I don't recommend CD for soy. If you want to use it, you can. But if you want to save a little bit more candle burning time, candle hours, I believe that CD would really work good in like a parasoy or, you know what I'm saying, if it's mixed. But for a straight soy, CD do burn hot. Now, let me tell you the science behind it. Each wick is dipped in a wax. Uh, Eco is dipped in soy wax. Um, uh, CD is dipped in paraffin wax. So it burns hotter because it's dipped in paraffin wax, you know, so um, it burns hotter for the soy. It works well in parasoy and paraffin. Okay, so the next one, um, this is CD. We talked about the CD wicks. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is the LX. This is um, LX right here. I have a big collection of LX actually. This is actually my favorite wig, my go-to. I use CD and LX because I use 6006. I love the way LX burn. LX gives me a smooth burn. And CD does too. I love CD wigs inside, especially the salsa jar. Um, this is my salsa jar and I use a CD um, 18 or 20 in here. I would have to go over the top like you remember what i just taught you go over the top and get your um get your measurements but i use like a cd 18 or 20 in here and it gives me a great hot throw it burns good it's smooth i have no issues with the flame whatsoever so this is um lx this is pretty good these are really good for parasoy i have never used them inside of um 
actually let me look and see if it says that but i've never used lx wicks inside of just plain old soy so that's something to just kind of pay attention to these recommend these recommendations are based upon okay using the base paraffin wax paraffin waxes and vegetable but base soy okay so i mean honestly i probably would use this lx inside a pair of pair of soy i mean um you know so anyway i'm going on to something else um my next my next runner up for this uh lovely con uh, <laughs> conjunction junction what's your function would be um okay here we go we got premiere premiere is pretty good um like i said i'm going to leave a wick guide on the bottom if you want to use it it's uh through lone star premiere is pretty good i love premiere the only thing about premiere is um you know, I would not use Premier inside of just a regular soy wax. I probably would just use Premier inside of a pair of soy. You know, so that's something to um, look into because it is dipped in paraffin wax. And if anything is dipped in paraffin wax, I'm sorry, I just would not use it for just soy. So um, this is Premier. This is like a sample pack that I have. Um, guys, they, they haven't been selling these sample packs because of the newbies, like I said and they want people to purchase the just the whole series you spend more money doing they don't want you to save money right now you know it's just pretty much a cool candle game out here like every man for himself they going up on shipping prices and and the post offices go up a little bit they go up a whole lot so you just gotta watch the the inflation right now you know people are really doing <laughs> the most this is another um type of wick this is called zinc and remember on my journey i pretty much ordered a lot of wigs like i would just go on there and just order you know and some of the wigs i probably never use like this premiere you know i probably wouldn't use these i'll probably just you know put these in a the desage group or something like that um but these uh premiere i mean zinc um one of them lean to the side it's either htp or premiere i think it's htp you got to be careful with it because it got like a little lean to it but the zinc is pretty good i like the zinc i like the zinc in parasoy and also gel if you are using gel wax the, the the zinc wick is your recommended wick for um gel some people say they use cd and they say that it worked for them but um recommended is the zinc the zinc works pretty good i like the zinc for 6006 the only thing about the zinc is it leaves a huge mushroom so whenever you uh use those you have to let your customer know or uh, you know you just you make sure you clip it and once you clip off that mushroom it's smooth selling from there so um i done showed you guys all the wicks that i have another one is paper core paper core burns really high Hot, so it's not really recommended to use it unless you're using it in a big giant vessel so you know you just you know keep that in mind um those are the wicks that i actually have and that um i mean i pretty much went over every wick with you guys i got cd i got um lx i got paper core yeah i pretty much went over all of them um it's a lot of questions that i get so i'm just gonna take this time out to um answer some of the questions that i get um, from uh, some of the people. Uh, one of the questions that I do get from people, um, if I change out my jar, do I have to keep changing my wicks? Like if I'm changing different jars, do I have to change my wicks? And the answer is yes. Because the wider your jar is, like that jar you may have used, may have just been, let's say this was three inches. You know, and then you use another jar that's like three and a half inches. So you have to go up a size. You know, so just make sure that whenever you choose in jars, you go and you may go to Dollar Tree and you may see something that you really, really, really like. You may go in there and you may see like, oh, I want to go home and do this candle bowl. You know, you go in there and you bring this bowl home. You got to remember that this bowl is so big. You have to at least put three wicks inside of this bowl just to be able to get a good melt pool. You can't just double wick a bowl or something this wide. So what you do is you go over the top, you see how much it is, and then you go through the wick guide and you just, basically you just divide it in half. Like, you know, like, okay, so we'll say this bowl is, um, let's see how far this bowl is. This bowl is about almost seven inches. So you're gonna need um, three wicks that got 
two inch brackets, two, four, six. It go up to two. Let's see um, which wick I will probably use for this. So if it's seven inches, I'm going to use two, four, six. I'm going to use three eco. I'm going to use three eco six wicks inside of here, guys. And you see how I was able to just wick that right off of my brain? Like that was just so easy for me to do because I like, I really started just, it's, it's all a matter of just taking this measuring tape and then just, you know what I'm saying? Like reading over like, a wick, it's not hard. Um, I'm still here to answer people's questions or whatever the case may be, but I really hope that this video helped you solve some of your wit craziness. Guys, again, um, I cannot stress it enough. Do not quit on candles just because. And I see another thing. People going to wickless candles. They like, oh, I'm going wickless. Don't go wickless. Like, you know, really sit there and um, go through the wick guide and, and, and take your time and measure the top of your vessel. You know, do those things. And I'm sure that you will come out with a great candle, a great hot throw. You know, you just do your studying. Sometimes, you know, in all things you got to get, you got to get studying you got to get wisdom you got to get knowledge like in all things i'm telling you you just can't hop into the candle world the, the candle world and expect to be successful just you know i'm seeing people just go out there and just launch next week i'm like well girl you just you just learned what suey wax you already ready to launch oh, so quick you know, a lot of people be just launching so fast and it's like, you know, no, it took me like two or three months to like successfully get it down pack. And if it took me that long, I'm, on, I'm very, very smart with like certain things like this. It took me a while. Like I'm gonna tell you, it took me the longest that candle science wick guy, that thing was messing me up. And I just kept messing with that darn guy. And, um, uh, <laughs> But yeah, guys, it was so good to have you. I mean, I'm 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 excited that you came down in the studio to visit little old me. I'm just little diamond. I thank you so much. I hope this video was helpful for you, helpful for you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because the next time we come back, listen, I got some new molds. I got a um cinnabon mold. I got some cherry molds and I got a brownie cake mold. So we're about to make some desserts and I'll probably get down here tonight and make some desserts. So guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you do not miss what's coming up next. It is good to see you again. I'm telling you, if we're going to get out of here, we need to get out of here in style. All right.